Hi everyone, Adam with eTrailer.com. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the NO Aero crossbars on our 2019 Honda Odyssey. So with our Aero bars and our flush feet, it is gonna work really well with our factory rails on our Odyssey here. And the nice thing about these is it doesn't just clamp down on it, it has a band that goes underneath and it's really gonna secure all that. Regardless, just the roof rack system in general is going to be ideal for this Odyssey just because we have three rows of seats. If we're going on a big trip to Florida or something like that, there's going to be a lot of people inside this van. So without adding anything to the back of our vehicle with a hitch mounted accessory, this is pretty much our only other option, putting a roof rack on top. So we can put a cargo basket, a cargo box, we can even put some bikes a couple bike carriers, or even a kayak carrier. Whatever you guys are doing, I do think that these rails will work with your factory rails, but also they're gonna be able to get you a lot of those accessories. We can either have some that are gonna wrap around the bar or even just utilize this T-slot accessory on top as well. They are gonna be made of aluminum, do have a nice finish to them, so it does go good and kind of matches the factory color of our rails. So these bars are gonna get us about 165 pounds of weight capacity, but be sure to check your Honda Odyssey's owner's manual just to make sure it can handle that kind of weight. But let's go ahead and take a look at the caps here. We do get locks and they kind of just cover up pretty nicely. There's not any overhang, so be, notice that. That is something I kind of like just because once you get to those longer bars, you're gonna have a little bit hanging over. It's just not going to really do you much good on the highway at those higher speeds. Not going to be that aerodynamic, but with these feet on there and the shorter bars so they don't stick out, I do think it's going to help our aerodynamics whenever we're going up at high speeds. Another thing is we do have the T-slot up top, but there is a little rubber insert inside there. So that wind isn't really going to be trying to kind of creep its way in there, making some noise or anything like that. So that's definitely a plus. All you gotta do is just take off the cap and slide your T-Track accessory. You don't have to really trim any of this stuff, which is definitely a plus for me. And just other than that, just the fact that we do have a, a little cable that kind of comes all the way around here and we can tighten it down just with our hands. We don't need a tool or anything like that. We don't have to worry about damaging our factory roof rail system which is definitely a plus. It's always just nice buying a product, knowing it's gonna take care of your investment. And in this case, it's got our Honda Odyssey. So just to give you guys an idea of how much height you're adding to your vehicle, just from our rails here with the feet, we are gonna add about two and a half inches to our rails. And we're gonna do some measurements from our roof to the bottom of our rails, which is gonna be about two and three quarter inches. And then from our roof to the top of our rails is gonna be about four inches. So it doesn't really sit too low to interfere with our sunroof and it doesn't really sit too much higher than our back antenna here. So I really don't think we're gonna have any issues of it fitting into a parking garage or even your garage yourself. But if you do have other accessories, be sure to measure that just to be mindful of how much height you have. But other than that, they really did install relatively easily. It's kind of a cool setup. You don't really need any tools. So let's just go ahead and show you guys how to. So the first thing that we wanna do is take our bar and flip it over. Once we do that, all we need to do is just make sure you can see the slot, how it slides. We're just gonna slide it in by pushing down this little tab all the way in on both sides. Then we can take our feet with this knob on the outside. And what we want to do is, as you can see, as I push this in, this little piece comes up. Just push it in so it's like that. Knob towards the outside. And just place it right here. And this is the fun part. We're pretty much done. So it's super, super easy compared to most, in my opinion. It only takes a couple minutes. Just get those on, and now we can go ahead and put these up on our roof. So now all we really need to do is just put it up on our roof. Just make sure that you put the thicker part of the bar facing forward, because that gives it that aerodynamic feel. Help it out a little bit. Just kind of 
put this band underneath the rail, get it seated up real nice on one side, and we'll do the same exact thing for the other. Alrighty, so we do have a 48 inch bar on our front and a 45 inch bar on the back. It's just how these factory rails go. They're a little bit wider up towards the driver and passenger side. So now that we said that, let's just go ahead and take this strap. It's gonna be a steel strap, with nice rubber coating. Kind of slide that on there like that. And with it in that slot, now we can go ahead and just twist this. You don't need a tool or anything, which is a plus. And give it a decent amount of twists. And then just fold that down a little bit. And then we can go ahead and put on our cap. You just need to notice there's gonna be an R on this side and then on the other side, that's where the locking core is gonna go. So just pick the right cap for it. We can just slide that on. We will get keys with our kit to lock it into place. Luckily, these come with it. A lot don't. So we don't have to make an additional purchase. But then we can go ahead and do that same exact process on the other side. Well, everyone, that just about does it for a look at the NO Aero crossbars on our 2019 Honda Odyssey.